Chris, thanks for talking to us, thanks for joining us. Got yeah. your breath back? Just about, yeah. What was it like? You were back. I know you just said you're frustrated and, you know, and you've not been around, but you have been around because you've been a, a part of the squad. But you got your opportunity tonight and you've taken it with a goal as well. Yeah, it has been frustrating. Um, obviously injured at the start of the season, <clears throat> so I sort of lost my place a little bit. Um, and I've been back fit for some time now, but not had many opportunities. Um, but obviously the team's done well at, at times. So it's, Hard to change a winning team sometimes, but yeah, I'm glad I got an opportunity today and uh, glad I got a goal. How did you feel when you, the manager and the coaches said what the lineup was going to be in terms of how you were going to play? Because I think, I'm not sure, I don't think last year you played with the with Tumor up front. If you did, it was only when it substitutes either of you. I don't think they ever started it like that for a long, long time. So it's, it, was it different for you as well? Yeah, definitely. We, we've, um, we have been working with a two up top in training for a few weeks now. Um, I don't know whether we would have done it in the previous game we got called off, but I think there was a good chance we might have done. Um, so I think it was a matter of time. I think in this league you've got to sometimes change the way you play. Obviously we've been playing that same way now for a couple of years. Everyone knows how we play. So I would have thought it took them by surprise tonight. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, definitely. As long as I score, I always really enjoy it. There was a, there was more chances for you as well. But that's the one thing you talk about frustration because mm -hmm. you thrive on scoring goals. But let's talk about the one you got. You know, it, it, never mind. Everybody said you couldn't miss, but I think you've got to also give yourself credit for the position you got in. But what a terrific yeah. work from Tom Lowry. Yes, yeah, it was the same last season. Yeah, me and Tom seemed to see eye to eye when um, with, with, with assists and goals with each other. So. I sort of knew where he was wanting to put it, and I just made sure I was in that right position. It was important that the, the team just just dipped a little bit. You know, many people get carried away, don't they? You're going to win every game, and it's going to be easy. But they had just dipped a little bit in terms of results, but they bounced back against a, a real good Accrington side who are definitely doing well this season. Yeah, I think um, people underestimate Accrington this season. The flying, to be fair, um, they've got a, a way of playing that's difficult to play against. Um, I mean, they beat us at home. I thought we could have got something from that game, but it was a difficult game. And they fight and scrap for everything. And they did tonight, even when they went down to 10 men, they were still a decent enough sort of opposition. Um, so, yeah, the people underestimate, underestimate them. So I thought tonight was a great result. Playing alongside Mikhail Mandron, you have to tell him just to slow down a, a few times. He's running around, isn't he? His energy levels are, are terrific, aren't they? He's going through a little spell at the moment. Like every strike he doesn't want to do, he's not scoring a goal, but he brings a lot to the team, doesn't he? He does, yeah. I thought last game, even though he didn't score and he had a lot of opportunities, I thought that was one of his better games for some time. Um, and I always think as a goal scorer, I'd rather get in 10, 15 chances a game and miss them all, rather than not getting any chances and not scoring. So it, every strike goes through a little barren patch every now and again. But I thought tonight he was good, he was strong, he bullied their centre-half, I thought, at times. And he was good to play up front with. He's been a, a real good sign, I know it's an area that you you know, you know want to be in as well, but he, he has brought a, lot to, brought, brought a lot to the club, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's done great. Um, like I said tonight, I thought he was obviously didn't score, but I thought his overall play was very good. Um, I thought we worked well together, to be honest. And like you said, I, I thought his energy levels were good. And I thought to, together we sort of put them under a lot of pressure and gave them, gave their defence a real hard time tonight. And a clean sheet for the lads at the, the, the back end of the field as well. You know that that's something that you're always working on to try and get more of those. Yes, yeah, I thought. Plays a great line tonight, cut them offside many times. Mm. They always look to get in behind and they've always got runners. Um, so yeah, I thought all, all the defensive line today were really good. But Dom coming coming back in, first 90 minutes in a long time, I thought he looked good, looked strong. So yeah, credit to them all. Well, you get a bit of a breather, turn and get to, you know, back, back, get yourself back for training again because some of them are coming next. You are in a, a great set of fixtures, aren't you? When you look at it on paper, you know, yeah. Unfortunately, the fans are not here, but we've talked about that enough through the season. But they're great games to be playing in. Yeah, yeah, they are. I mean, Sunderland should be up there, the size of club they are. Um, should be in League One. 
So it'd be a great scalp for us to uh, get three points.